Hey guys, it's Hannah here. And today I am here with another updated all of my LPS video. And this time I will show you all of my LPS Collies. And I am so very happy to say that I actually own every single version of Collie that, that Hasbro has created. So yeah, if you're looking to collect all of the Collies, this video could kind of be a guide for you as well. And like previously, I will show you them in the order of their numbers. And now let's begin! So the first ever Collie that Hasbro made was this one. And this one is also one of the most popular as well. So. You might have seen this one a lot. <laughs> Next up is this one. And this one is quite special because he is actually a variant of this one. As you can see they look quite a lot alike except that this one has a paw down and this one has one paw up. That's mainly the only difference but my version of this one is also a lot darker. I don't think that all of them are like that. If you own this one please tell me below if he is this dark. Yeah, I just really like to know. Next one is this one. And this one I was actually lucky enough to trade a few years back when I did trade on my channel. I don't anymore. Yeah, and I'm just, I'm so happy I did. And next up is this guy. This must be the funkiest looking collie of them all, I think. It's just, I don't know, he looks very happy, but also a little bit funky as I said and the reason why he looks this different is because he came with a set where he was supposed to catch I guess frisbees with his mouth it's a little bit funky but yeah still really fun next up is this one and this is actually one of my favorite collies I'm pretty sure I can say that he's my favorite guy collie I don't really know why it's just really adorable I think Next up is this one. This one is pretty unique out of the collies because, well, as you can see, he's all white or kind of grayish white. And there's no other collie like that, so I think that's really cool. Next one is this one. And this one is also one of the rarer collies, I think, because she came with a puzzle. Her eyes are so pretty. I love these purple, especially combined with the other colors on her. It just looks so great together. Next up is this one. And this one holds a very special place in my heart because she actually was the very first collie that I ever got. And not just that, actually my dad got this one for me as a surprise. I think he's been away for like work, kind of out of town. And then when he came back, he had stopped by a store where they sold LPS and he got this one for me and I was just so surprised and so happy when he got home. Back then I wasn't a very big fan of the collars, it's not like I, I love them or anything and not like I do now, but I remember how how this one really just grew on me and I just loved her more and more the more I played with her. I've had this one for many many years. She is actually one of the very first LPS that I ever owned. As I said, this one is very special to me. Next up is this one. And this is my absolute favorite Collie out of them all. I just love this one. She is so 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 pretty i don't really know what it is about her that makes me love her so much i mean she got this kind of highlights in her fur i think that's really really unique and very very pretty i just oh gosh i traded this one from a friend many years ago and she's my second favorite lps in my entire collection that kind of says a lot next one is this one this one is also very unique and that's mainly because of her eyes. Two different eye colors. I think there are in total like two LPS that has that. Obviously this one is very special and I just love that. I love when pets are, you know, special and unique and when Hasbro kind of mixes things up a little. Next one is this one and here's another funky looking one <laughs> yeah obviously this one was released when hasbro kind of experimented with the flat eye thing and they did one color with flat eyes and it's this one it's a little different but it's still as i said it can it's kind of a funny look especially with kind of with the tongue sticking out there <laughs> it makes it look really silly next one is this one this is also one of my favorite collies and i remember when i this one first came out i was not i mean it's not like i didn't like it but i just didn't really fall in love with it immediately it took me 
several years actually before I actually even wanted this one in my collection. And when I did, I was lucky enough to find her new in package in a store. There's something about it that just makes her look very adorable and she looks very friendly too, I think. Next up is this one! And this one is very awesome, I think. And mainly that's because she's all purple. Not a lot of pets are. She's got some obviously white detailing and such, but mainly she's purple. And I guess that's why I used her kind of as a crowd pet in my video, Dr. Thompson Spooty, where all the pets turn purple. So this one was kind of a perfect choice. Next up is this one. And this is one of those pets, for me at least, where I just can't decide if this should be a boy or a girl. I just can't decide. If you have decided for yourself, if you think this is a guy or a girl, please tell me what you think in the comments below and maybe that could help me out. Next up is this one. To me, this one is very unique. I remember when I first saw her, I wasn't even really sure if I liked the design because I thought it was just very, I guess, different when I once I got her because I had decided to collect all the collies so I needed to get all of them. I actually have started to love her more and more since then and now I love her. I think she's so pretty. As I said, now I love her, so. And the next one and actually last one is this one. And this collie might be the most plain one, but that's because she was a blind bag pet. You know, sometimes less is more, and with this one, I think that is definitely the case. She's really, really pretty. And yeah, this is the last G2 collie that Hasbro made, which is pretty sad, actually. I really hope that when Hasbro came back to doing the G2s again, after doing the G3s, that they would do a new collie. But Sadly, they didn't. At least we've got a pretty good collection of the colors that were already made and I just, I love them all. <laughs> all right, and those were all of the collies. Compared to some LPS types, there are not that many collies, like compared to the short hairs. Like <laughs> the collies take up one row in my collection shelves and the short hairs take up, uh, is it two and a half? Yeah, that's kind of a big difference but yeah I think the collies are just so adorable and cute as I said I love them all so yeah okay so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon